Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Megan and I go to the University of Oklahoma. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about college dorm room essentials. So I am now a sophomore, so I went through my entire freshman year. So I'm super excited to tell you all everything that I think you will need for your dorm rooms. This is just like a general guide for college dorm rooms. I did a specific video talking about things that you need for your dorm if you're going to the University of Oklahoma. It's titled Everything You Need to Know About OU. So go watch that if you're going to OU. Um, Cause yeah, I give a lot of good tips about the dorms there. But yeah, let's just hop on into the video. So the first thing on my list is lights. So in your dorm room, I recommend getting LED lights, uh, fairy lights, lamps, like a salt lamp or just a regular lamp. I had both um, neon signs. So I had like all those in my room and whenever I would still be up and like my roommate would want to go to sleep, I would just turn on either my salt lamp or my neon sign or my fairy lights and I just had like my side of the room lit up. That's definitely an essential, have good lighting in your room. Um, thing is curtains. So in room, there was a, there was one window and when in the mornings, the light would shine through so bright in the morning and then also at night, our view was directly to the football stadium. So my roommate would be getting like bright lights from the stadium lights hitting her face because she was facing the window so definitely get curtains we ended up getting them a, probably about a week in um we kind of got like the short curtains and then they were too short and so we just got long ones so yeah definitely recommend curtains if you have windows in your dorm room okay the next thing is a phone id pouch so this is what mine looks like a phone case that i use during the year it's just like is super beat up i kept my student ID in here and you know if you're going to your dining halls or getting into your um, dorm hall you just like scan your ID everywhere and it's super handy just to have it right here okay so the next thing that you're gonna need is a power strip preferably a kind of long one um, so my roommate and I both had these I know mine had like two little USB plugs on it so that definitely came in handy because my neon sign was just a usb so i just kept it plugged in and i just plugged it in when i wanted to turn it on and then just because i had so many other light sources in my room and i needed to charge my computer and com uh, and phone i just plugged everything into that kept it on the side of my bed and it worked out perfect this thing is a mattress topper the dorm room beds are not going to be super comfortable and I have a mattress topper like on this bed, so I knew that I was definitely going to get one. I honestly, I don't know anyone that didn't have a mattress topper. I know if I didn't have one, my back would have been hurting so much. So a mattress topper, definitely something that you want to invest in. Next is Clorox wipes. Um, you're going to have spills in your dorm room and people are going to get sick. Uh, just a good thing to have and super easy to use. They're like multi-purpose, so can't go wrong with the next thing is a steamer. So obviously your clothes are gonna get wrinkly with the limited amount of space that you have in your dorm room, at least for me. So you're gonna want a steamer. You're not gonna want a full iron in your room, especially if you're sharing a dorm room, which most people do. Um, because that's just a hassle. So yeah, a steamer. You're also gonna want a fan because most dorm rooms don't have a ceiling fan um, and I know some some dorm rooms you can't like control the AC and the temperature I know that we could in ours but I don't really think we ever messed with it. we just had one of those long fans that rotates and we turned it on when we went to sleep and that was really nice um, just to have especially when school starts and it's still really hot so yeah next thing is a Brita I didn't really use a Brita that much but the only reason I didn't is because at the bottom of my tower, there was like a little water fill station and the water was pretty good. Um, so I just got water there every day. But if you don't have anything like that, you're definitely going to want a Brita to get some clean water. Going along with that, you're going to want a reusable water bottle, so like a Hydro Flask definitely gonna need that it's just super hot walking around campus and it will keep your water cold all day so yeah definitely recommend that the next thing medicine 
you're gonna get sick probably at least once um, i never get sick and i got sick so much my freshman year so definitely you're gonna need medicine advil um like mucinex all of that kind of stuff cough medicine cough drops i know i didn't have any like coughing medicine but my roommate had some cough drops so i used some of those going along with the medicine aspect um like first aid kit stuff i kept my medicine and first aid stuff in like one little storage bin just some little mini first aid kit i normally don't get like hurt i'm not super clumsy but i did one time step on a piece of glass in my room and uh, it got stuck in my toe so it was not fun but i had band-aids in my little bin and that was good because right after that happened i had to hurry to um like an an initiation little meeting thing um so yeah luckily i had band-aids and i could just go um, next um a vacuum <laughs> for that reason i think my roommate like shattered one of her mugs i wasn't there and so she like vacuumed it or whatever and then like one little piece didn't get in the vacuum so yeah you're gonna need a little dust buster or one of or like a really skinny vacuum that you can easily store um next a good heavy jacket ou is in norman so it gets pretty cold there at least for me i'm from texas See, these are like my jackets right here so i have like these but they're not super heavy that one on top is like my favorite one um so yeah either just bring it in the beginning or if you go home for like thanksgiving bring it then for the winter time because that definitely came in handy on days when it was either snowing or just super super cold um and then also a rain jacket i had two i brought my own because i knew that it was gonna be raining it's actually really good it's that pink one right there it's from columbia um, and then i got one from my sorority so yeah definitely just have some rain jackets and then rain boots um i didn't own rain boots before going to ou and when it rains there's tons of puddles so you don't want to be getting your tennis shoes like soaked and just gross and i got good use out of mine so yeah i had a tall pair of like the hunter boots and then i got a low pair for christmas next um, i would recommend getting an ottoman so i didn't have one but my roommate did and i think she kept like some cleaning supplies and like laundry stuff in there not only is that good for storage, but if you loft your bed higher than like the standard height, um, you can use that to get on your bed. And when people come over, it's like an additional seat because there's not a lot of space to sit other than the floor. Obviously a fridge. Um, most people get a fridge and microwave. I would suggest getting a bigger fridge um, than like a mini fridge like that just has the fridge part. Mine was pretty big i think we had like three shelves and then a freezer portion i think i got mine from costco Just under bed storage as you transition through the season if you are like me and have a lot of clothes you're kind of gonna run out of room i kept a lot of like little tanks like this and my skirts in the uh cabinets underneath my bed and then whenever it got colder i started getting all of my sweatshirts and stuff and putting them in those cabinets instead because I wasn't going to be wearing stuff like this. So I got these little um, storage boxes. So I just got them off of Amazon in like a pack of two. They're not super thick, which is good because I only had like this much amount of room um, in between my bed and then the cabinets that were under my bed. So I kept shoes here and then I put skirts and tank tops in this and put it underneath my bed to store stuff. really came in handy because I would have had nowhere else to put it. Like before I ordered these, I just stuffed everything at the top of my closet and I did not have any more room. So this was good. Next is a robe. So um, I got a robe from my sorority as a little new member gift. And I ended up wearing it a lot just because I don't really like putting on clothes right away after my shower. So I just throw on my robe. And then also, if you have community bathrooms, I would assume that you would want a robe. Whenever I went to visit Texas Tech 
and I had to use the community bathrooms, I would take my robe and wear that. So next is one of the full length mirrors from Target. I just hung this on my closet door um, just so we would have a little place to like check our outfits and stuff. I can't imagine not having a mirror in your room. And then like the mirrors in our bathroom, they obviously weren't full length. So that's why we bought one of those. Next, air purifiers um, slash dehumidifier. So we had both in our room. We had a dehumidifier because if you know the OU dorms, yeah, they just, you need a dehumidifier in there. And then we ended up getting an air purifier. We just both kept getting sick and the dorms is just not the cleanest place. Everyone living there and everyone getting sick. So I definitely think that helped a little bit. Um, we just got like a tiny one and put it on I think we put it on our AC unit. So next a Laundry bag not basket. I had a basket at the beginning of the year and I kept it in my closet And then it just ended up taking way too much space I took the bag out of the basket and then put the basket in my car took it home eventually and Just had the bag and I would just carry the bag uh, down to the laundry room and that gave me so much more space Okay, next, um, shoe storage. So, in the beginning of the year, I kind of just had, like, sneakers and flats, and I just kept them underneath my bed. But then when the fall came around and went, got all of my, like, booties and stuff from home, and I didn't have anywhere to store them, I ended up getting these drawers from Target and just put them in this little tiny space in my room. It was, like, the perfect size, and I just kept all my heels in there. The thing you can do is get one of the shoe racks and put it like on your closet next um obviously you're gonna eat in your dorm at some point so i would literally just recommend getting one to two plates and one to two bowls and then either buy plastic silverware or literally just one fork one knife and one spoon we did the plastic silverware and then i needed a knife one day and we ran out so i literally just got a knife from my dining hall so you can always do that if you really need something. So, I recommend like one or two mugs to keep in your room. I had one. So, going with that, you need a little dish scrubber, whatever that's called. Next, paper towels. Yeah, we were always using them. So, definitely have a couple rolls of that. Next, an umbrella. I didn't bring an umbrella, but my grandma like moved in with me. And she gave me like a little bag of stuff, so an umbrella was in there, so that was nice because I ended up using that quite a few times when it was raining really hard. Next, I think I already mentioned this a little bit, a shower caddy. Um, obviously, if you're a community bathroom, it's definitely a shower caddy. I shared a bathroom with three other girls, and I think one girl had a little caddy, and I just kind of kept my stuff wherever. Yeah, just something to keep all of your hair care and body washes in. And then the last thing is storage bins. If you watch my dorm tour, I have this headboard shelf in my dorm room and I had storage bins on them. I kept like tape, scissors, and my first aid and medicine in. So storage bins are definitely a need for just a bunch of miscellaneous things. Those are really just the things that I feel like I use the most. And I will be doing more dorm videos in the future, such as like what items people forget to bring to college how to decorate your dorm room, um, dorm halls, move-in video. Definitely subscribe for all of those videos to come. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Leave a like. If you have any more questions for me, leave them in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. And yeah, I will see you on the next video.